Welcome to the second module in the Promote the Ethical Use of Data-Driven Technologies course. This week is about legal and ethical privacy concepts. Your instructor for this module is Renee Cummings. As an AI ethicist, Renee understands the importance of privacy and legal concepts and terms related to data-driven technologies. Welcome, Renee. Thank you, Megan. Renee, privacy is defined as the freedom to be left alone. What does this mean when we're talking about data? Uh, Megan, I think for a lot of people that freedom to be left alone is also linked to the freedom to be, uh, the right to be forgotten when it comes to data. So it is about the issue of data cleansing, is what's going to be done with my uh, PII and how is that going to be treated as well? It also looks at if there is a breach of privacy there is that feeling of exposure, that feeling where there is now that lack of confidence and that lack of trust. And, and that whole question of breaches of privacy and the legal ramifications are so extraordinary that this is one of those critical topics that we've just got to address. So what kind of privacy risks arise when a company collects data about an individual? Well, Megan, there are so many risks that do arise. I think for many people, it could be how is that data being collected? What is it going to be uh, used for? When you are using it, how many other people or institutions or organizations are going to have access to my information as well? And if it is I signed over those rights to you, what are you going to use that signature for, because many times, so many things are in the fine print that we really don't pay attention. And sometimes we just click our way right through to get to what needs to be done and we are not reading everything that we're clicking. So this again is a big issue. It's the major issue. It's really exciting stuff as well, because uh, this is really where the rubber hits the road when it comes to you know, your code of conduct and the things that need to be designed and how you're gonna deploy it and how you're really going to ensure that the systems work. So again, uh, another big issue that we really deal with in this uh, module. I know that I have been that person that just checks the box to get what I want, whether it's downloading an app or getting into something or, or purchasing something. So when, um, when I do that, who owns the data collected about an individual? Does the person own it or does the company collecting the data own it? The unfortunate thing is the company collecting the data owns it. And that's what we've got to realize. We may think we own our own data, but the reality is we don't. Now, many uh, legal challenges are really trying to change the framework of how that data is collected and the ownership of it. But I think to be cautious, uh, the individual really needs to know, uh, once you sign it off, it no longer belongs to you. So I've got to start reading that fine print. <laughs> we all have to. Yeah. Well, thank you, Renee. We look forward to getting a glimpse into ethical and legal solutions to mitigate privacy concerns and to protect privacy. Definitely.